Hi there, it's Jenna from ScribblingGrace.com. Today I'm just doing a Bible journaling with me video on how I painted a colorful lion using acrylics in my journaling Bible. So this Bible that I'm using today is the Illustrating Bible by Illustrate Faith and Day Spring. Um, they now have a newer version of this Bible out, which may be worth looking into, and I do have a review on this Bible um, here on YouTube and on my blog, and I'll put those links in the description below if you're interested in learning more about this Bible. Overall, it's a great Bible, but it is pretty darn pricey. Um, but one of the biggest things is that it has these wide four inch margins, and some pages like this page I'm working on is even wider than four inch, so it's great because you have a lot of space to work in. So I'm gonna be using acrylic paints on this um, page here. I'm gonna to do my lion. You could do something similar with watercolors, but it would definitely turn out a little bit differently. Um, but if you want to, give it a shot and have fun with it. Um, you could also totally do this on a sketchbook and a notebook. Um, you can do this on the interleaved Bible, which has the full blank pages. Um, you can do this as a tip-in. Just have fun with it. Do uh, what feels right to you if you want to give it a try. And I hope you do. Okay, so <laughs> I have a printable <laughs> with this as well. Um, so a free printable of this lion traceable that I'm using. Um, you can find it in the blog post that goes along with this video at scribblinggrace.com slash colorful lion. And I'll put that link again in the description below as well. Um, so to get painting, <laughs> I um, just grabbed a bunch of acrylic paints. I use the Apple Barrel brands that you get from Walmart. Um, they're just really super duper cheap <laughs> paints, which I find they work perfectly for Bible journaling because we don't need anything fancy. Um, but any acrylic paints work in your journaling Bible, they should not ever bleed through. Um, but I'm just using these Apple Barrel ones. They come in a huge ton of different colors, and so I just picked out a bunch of colors, kind of rainbow-esque <laughs> type of colors. So I have blues and greens, some pinks, uh, yellow and the purple as well, and then of course white as well. And so I'm painting on the head of my lion first. I basically just took that free printable, stuck it under the pages I'm working on, and I'm using that as a guide to where I want um, to put my lion's mane and stuff like that. So um, it just makes it a little bit easier than having to freehand because <laughs> I am not very good at freehanding in my Bible. So um, having these little printables is great and I love it. So um, I went ahead and I just painted the head first. I left that opening for the eye so it looks a little creepy and opening for the nose. I'm going to fill those in with a little bit of black later on. And so I just painted the face. I did nothing fancy. I just took my small round paintbrush that I'm using. This is a size 8 round paintbrush. Also from Walmart. Um, just super cheap multi-pack paintbrush, paintbrushes that I use. Um, and so I just took my paintbrush and just filled in um, that whole face area. It doesn't need to be perfect. I kind of want this to look a little bit... Um, carefree. So I didn't worry too much about seeing brush strokes and stuff like that. Um, and of course it looks a little bit weird because there's no eye or nose, um, but it'll look really cool at the end and it'll look like a lion. Um, so I just filled in the little ear spot with pink and now I'm creating the colorful mane. To paint this mane, I again am just still using that small round paintbrush and I'm just going color by color picking up paint and starting usually from the outside going in towards the lion's face. And I'll just uh, stick the tip of my paintbrush down and get a nice point um, to each of these little swipes of the mane. And then as I go more inward, I apply more pressure um, and make it a little bit wider. And then I'll kind of release that pressure again as I get to the very tip of that uh, lion face, I guess. <laughs> so um, one of the things is that you don't want your colors to blend together very much. You can see um, if you're looking really closely that this purple is blending a little bit with that blue because that blue wasn't completely dry. So I'm going to go ahead and start drying each layer before I start adding more colors. This is totally um, up to you. I want each of my colors to be very um, vibrant on their own and I don't want them blending together and creating different colors so I don't want my 
blue and my pink blending together and creating a purple color because I already have my own purple color that I'm going to use. Um, <laughs> so I am just going to keep on painting and painting all these little swipes, um, adding until I feel like it's nice and full. You know, you want a big, strong lion's mane. You don't want it to be um, thin. So I'm just going to keep on adding colors. Um, and I'm just kind of using that free printable as a guideline to where I want um, my swipes to go <laughs> and the length of each swipe, but I'm not completely following that printable exactly. So um, if you decide to give this one a shot, I encourage you to have fun with it and uh, see where the paint takes you. And of course, you can also do this with other colors as well. Um, you can do browns and make it more realistic, you know. <laughs> um, this is just my interpretation of the verse that I'm working on, which is Proverbs 28, verse 1, which says, The wicked flee when no one is pursuing them, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Um, so... Uh, to finish up this lion, i just kind of going back over some of the lighter colors, that green especially, to make sure that it's nice and vibrant and you can't see a huge ton of that paper underneath. The thing about the Apple Barrel acrylics, they are very cheap and they're pretty colors, but they are very fluid. Um, they're a lot lighter body than most other acrylic paints, and that makes them a little bit... Um, more transparent so you kind of have to go over um, some of the layers a couple of times to make sure that they're nice and bold sometimes um, but again I find that we don't need anything super fancy to do Bible journaling and I never want to uh, make cost seem like one of those things that you have to uh, worry about if you're going to be doing Bible journaling so um, anybody can do Bible journaling, and I hope that you um, will embrace it and have fun. And remember that it's not about the art. It's all about spending time in the Word and worshiping God. So <laughs> to finish off um, this lion here, I am using my Tombow Funosuke brush pen to add in the black of the eye and the nose and mouth. And then I'm also going to go back over... Um, and outline the ear so that the ear stands out a little bit more as well. You could definitely use black paint and paint this part. Um, I just find it a lot easier to just use the pen. Um, and this pen does not bleed through the journaling Bibles. Um, at least I've never had any bleed through issues with the Tombow Food No Skay. You could also use micron pens um, or whatever pen you like to use for Bible journaling. But Again, I have links to all of the supplies that I'm using for this at scribblinggrace.com slash colorful lion, and I'll put that link in the description below. So go check that out. You can get the free lion printable there, and you can also um, see all the supply lists. So I'm going to keep on using that Tombow Food No Suke brush pen to do my brush lettering. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have brush lettering tutorials on how to do lettering just like this. Um, and again, those will all be in that blog post as well. So head on over there for all the fun stuff that you need um, to do a page similar to this. And I hope that it inspires you. So um, just to add a little oomph to my page, I felt like it needed a little something extra. I decided to go and uh, just add dots <laughs> all around my page in the different colors. So I just added, just used the very tip of my paintbrush to just add little dots in groups of threes and twos all around with all the different colors. Um, and I felt like that really just finished it off. And that is it for my page. So it was a lot of fun to do. I'll show you the back side so you can see that there is no bleed through. Um, I do not prepare my pages with gesso or anything. Um, this is just painted and written directly on the Bible page. And there is no bleed through. So that's it. I hope that you have a wonderful day. God bless.